This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to take this soap box packaging. I just kind of cut it all up, and we're going to turn these into butterflies. So let's get started. I'm always trying to find ways to utilize what I already have. And so these on the inside, I started stamping um, some of my butterflies on the inside packaging of a lot of my stuff. And I wanted to see what it would come out, what it would look like once it came out. And so I just took my Memento ink and I took this really adorable butterfly stamp um, that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I just started stamping on them because I wanted to see what it looked like. And sometimes it's always really nice to try new things. And I was really happy with the outcome. And so all I'm going to do is just kind of stamp this onto my little packaging there. And it's so amazing how everything can be art. Okay, so I'm just using what I already have. Super simple to do. And you can't beat the butterfly stamp from uh, Dollar Tree. And if you haven't seen my video yet, I did do a video on all of the stamps they had in that particular, uh, that looked like this. There was a heart, uh, flowers, and a cupcake. And so I will post that video below so you can see it. So once I stamp this, all I'm doing now is coloring it in because I want to see what it looks like. So let's see, I've got a couple of my markers here. These are my uh, Copic markers, but you could use whatever you want. And all I did was I started kind of randomly coloring them in. And this butterfly image is already so cute. So you could basically do whatever you want. You don't have to use uh, uh, any expensive markers. You could use whatever markers you already have because that's what it's really all about. Um, being able to craft using what you have. And so I thought, you know what, I want to see what it looks like. So I'm just kind of going in here. And these are really nice. I'm just kind of coordinating here. These will be nice for uh, cards because um, they're somewhat dimensional since they're a little bit thicker. And so just because you don't have a uh, cardstock, you could still stamp out on something else. So feel free to get all that packaging that you have from the cereal boxes too. And just see what happens. So I'm gonna do this over here. So I'm just coordinating it. And I love the design on these. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my uh, white gel pen on this one. And I'm just having fun coloring it in, enhancing these little areas in here. So I'm already, I'm just using the artwork that's already there. That's basically what I'm doing. I see a few areas that are left out on here. Let's do this part right here. And I'm already liking the way this looks. So I'm leaving some of the areas open. I just want to see what effect I get. So don't be afraid to experiment. I'm, I'm sure you will love whatever results you come up with, but you just have to get started. And this gel pen, if you're um, wanting to know, is this is the Univol Signo Broad gel pen. And I will also put the link to that as well. Okay, so I'm just going to take a darker color and just kind of enhance this area right here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other one now. Look how pretty that looks. Just with what I did. Just a little bit. And I'm going to end up cutting this out because I really want you to see what this looks like cut out. It has kind of a 3D effect on it. Okay, so let's see if we can use this one here. And see now this is a yellow, but it doesn't come out exactly like it because this is a darker background that I'm using it on. But I still want to see what it looks like when I do this.
And you can make a bunch of these and just kind of play around with the colors. And I'm just kind of going back and forth here. I'm loving that. Take my gel pen again. And just be careful to let uh, the gel pen dry a little bit. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to add a little bit of stitching on here just to enhance the insides of this and see what it looks like. And see now you've added another element just by adding some little details on there. Okay, and I'm going to add just a little bit in here. Just adding a few little dots, and let me bring that up closer so you can see what it looks like. So just adding those few little dots and stitching really helps. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one, and then we'll be ready to cut it out. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. And for these kind of cuts, I like to use my um, Cutter B scissors, especially for the fussy cut. And so these are sturdy enough to give them a 3D effect. And you just want to be careful when you cut those other little things out on here, right around there. But that's why I like these Cutter Bs. These are great for gift tags. I think I'm gonna, I'm thinking of using these on some gift tags uh, when I do some mindless crafting. Um, I wanna see how I can incorporate these into my gift tags because I think they would look really pretty on a gift tag. And I love butterflies and I think, and I know many of you do as well. So this is just another technique I wanted to share with you um, to use stuff that you already have. And so I'm going to finish cutting these out and then we're going to give it that 3D effect. Okay, so they're all cut out and look how super cute they look. And all I have to do now is just kind of bend it up. Now I didn't cover this side because I, what I want to do is use these on a gift tag or maybe on the cover of some type of journal. I'm not sure yet, but I just decided I want to just kind of bend these up like this. And because they're nice and firm, it gives you a little bit of a different effect. So I've got these two, and let me show you the other ones that I did. Look how adorable these are. And you can do them in any colors you want. You don't have to um, do anything fancy. If you want to use like a, a pen that has like glitter on it, like a glitter pen, or you want to use some um, glitter drops, you can do that too, or stickles. You can do anything you want with these, but I think these are just super adorable and I wanted to share them with you. Also, if you want, I'm probably going to end up using some of the packaging from uh, some of my stickers. So you can use just about anything you have. Get those cardboard boxes out. Um, you could add little pearls inside of here, like some mini rhinestones maybe would be a good idea. But I just wanted to give you some other idea. I'm going to be continuing to make more of these. And if you haven't seen that video I did on the Dollar Tree stamps, let me just show you what those other ones look like. Um, you can use the same technique using these. And for a dollar, this is not bad at all. So um, I will post that video below. I hope this was helpful to you. And I hope this just gave, give, gives you another idea for your crafting uh, stuff. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to go over to my Facebook uh, group that we just um, just getting started. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, members coming over and I appreciate all of you who have been uh, just giving a lot of positive vibes in that group. Uh, we are at Gift Basket Appeal Crafters Group on Facebook. I'll put the link below and I hope you join us over there and I'll see you real soon. Bye.
Thank you.